again, Cam Stone here from Mojo Outfitters. Once again, we are out in the middle of the Escalante Grand Staircase National Monument. That's what you see behind me there here. It's all the red rock. It's just absolutely gorgeous. We got incredible weather. It's, uh, I don't know, about 80 degrees right now. We're gonna make dinner at our campsite. And our dinner is gonna be very simple, but au cuisine American style, okay? What we're gonna do, we have some, uh, uh, a rack of lamb here. We're gonna cut those up into riblets and uh, do them on the Mojo griddle. We're also gonna do some fingerling potatoes here. Look, they look, they look kinda like my finger. See, it's almost the same. So we're gonna do these. We're gonna marinate those a little bit before we do it. And snap peas, and that's it. We're gonna, that's all we're gonna do. Snap peas, taters, riblets. So let's get started. I'm gonna cut these riblets up. Uh, open this thing up. Okay. Oh, look at that. That is just beautiful. So we'll cut these down the middle there. and make just riblets and then we'll just put them on the griddle. We'll put a nice little crust on there. And, uh, come on, there we go. Like so. Oh, these are gonna be, look at that. Oh yeah, baby. That's gonna be so good. That one, come on, get through there. Uno mas, right there. Come on, last one, there we go. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Before we get to cooking, we got a zip, handy Ziploc bag here. And I'm not looking up so much because the sun's like, it's like right there. So, excuse that. Uh, so we'll throw these in a bag, like so. Here, we'll put some oil in. Normally you'd use uh, olive oil, but this is what we got. We're out here, we can't go to the store for olive oil. So this is what we got. We're gonna throw some oil in. We got, I chopped up a whole, look at that, whole head of garlic. It's all finely chopped. We'll throw a bunch of that in there, sprinkle that in there, yeah. And then a pinch, I've got some uh, rosemary from my front yard that I brought along a sprig. Put it in the cooler so it stayed fresh. So we're gonna put a little bit of that in there. Just a little bit, <coughs> excuse me. And then of course pepper, cracked, fresh pepper. All right. So, and then we're just gonna do that. We're gonna put salt on when we cook them. So, they are so happy in there now. They're just gonna get, suck up all that garlic essence and the rosemary essence. That's gonna be so good. All right, next on the agenda, the fingerlings, remember? The fingerling potatoes. Same kind of deal. We're almost exactly the same. Throw some oil in, like that, and a bunch of garlic, Do -do -do -do. like so. This is such a simple, simple uh, dinner for out at the campsite. Oh, pepper, ha! got the pepper. So we'll put that in, bunch of that. Pepper's always good. All right, seal that puppy up. Look at that, come in for a close up, check that out. That's gonna go on the mojo right there. Unbelievable. Okay, next item will be peas and we're just gonna leave them like this. We'll throw the garlic on when we cook the peas on the mojo griddle. 
uh, right when we do it, because these are going to be done in no time. So we're going to get the mojo started up. Oh, I forgot. It's Halloween in a couple of weeks, so I thought we needed to have a pumpkin on our camp trip. Here's our pumpkin, and I hope you enjoy it. So we'll be back when uh, we start cooking, when we light her up. All right, I got the mojo on, the heat's on. You can see the smoke coming off of there. It's time to clean it for our, and get ready for our Mojo Americana Gourmet dinner. So we're gonna clean it with some salt, like that. This also seasons it. Grab the oil, big wad of paper towels, like so. Oh yeah, that is a beautiful griddle surface. Non-stick, no stick. Okay, so now it's time for the Mojo strap-on griddle lip. Here we go, we'll stick that on there. And then, let's put the fingerlings on. The fingerling taters. Get all that garlic out of there. Yum. Look at that. Look at that. I don't know what that is. Alright. Center is the hottest right now. And the tables will take a little while to cook through, so I'm going to use my Mojo uh, heat helmet and put that on there. That way we can shake it all around, you know, like you put your right toe in shake it all around let those cook for a little bit and we'll come back when they're close to done okay so the fingerling tomatoes have been roasted on there check it out look at that that looks so good i'm going to throw some water in here and steam them get them really hot so they cook through so here we go A magic dome, a heat helmet, our fingerling potatoes are just about done. We're gonna finish it off here. Oh, look at that! That's just we're gonna put some a little bit more oil on, like that. Then we're gonna salt them finely. Time to salt them, get a good amount of salt on there, and then. One more steam bath. All right, the potatoes are just about done. We're gonna lift that up. Look at it. Oh, oh, that smells so good. It's so garlicky. So we're gonna just set those up there against the strap on. And then scrape off any of this stuff here. Some of the taters. A little bit of starch on there. All right, and now it's time to do our peas. Our little sugar snap peas. Like so. We're gonna do the same kind of thing. We'll put some oil in, like so. And then right before they're done, we'll sprinkle in a little garlic. Snap peas are done. We're just gonna throw and the rest of the garlic that I chopped up, like that. And, of course, some pepper, ground pepper. All right, that's it, man. These are done. We're just gonna put those off to the side. Okay, now for the magic moment. We're gonna put on those uh, riblets from the rack of lamb. It's gonna be awesome. So, throw this here, put a little sheen of oil on, like so. Okay, time for the ribs. We'll get them set up here. Oh yeah, baby. Look at this. Oh, that is going to be so good. 
So we'll let that mojo sear it in, sear it in. There's gonna be a little crust on either side and hopefully we'll end up with a, uh, a chop that is rare on the inside, but has a nice crust. Check these babies out, it's time to turn them. We got a little cross going. Look at that, on the other side. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, these are gonna be done in no time. Oh, whoa. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that. Unreal, I'm gonna salt them. Like that, get a good, good bit of salt on them. Push them down. They're gonna be ready in no time. We'll be plating soon. I can't wait. All right, it's time. These things are done. I'll push them over. So I look at it. Just come in here and check this out. Look at that. The beautiness, beautimousness of that. That's incredible. All right, so we, let's plate. So let's put a few potatoes on here. See, <laughs> I know goodbye to that one. See that one? That's why it's in half. Okay, so now, let's do this. You know how they do it in the restaurants? They make it all pretty and stuff. Like that. Like cross them, huh? <laughs> Just like a restaurant. Oh, oh, oh no. I gotta eat now. All right, where's the sun? Come on over here. Let's go check this out. Okay, we're gonna put this in the sun, right? So you gotta get out of the way. 